Growing up in Utah, I often saw Native American jewelry. And I thought it was really beautiful, the turquoise and the beautiful ornate uh, work that went into that, the craftsmanship. And something that was very interesting to me is that in the necklaces that I saw, if there was a string of birds, let's say, one of those birds would just be a glob. All the other birds would be these beautifully, perfectly carved birds, but one of those would be a blob. And that's because nothing is perfect besides the great spirit. And perfection, in my experience, is definitely the enemy of the good. So here's what I mean. When people are working on things like the first draft of a talk, I've had clients who are trying to get it perfectly right the first time and it just takes forever because nothing's going to come out perfect nothing's perfect except the great spirit so when they try to make this first draft come out perfect it just ends up completely blocking them and getting them totally stuck and so i want to share with you a concept about that that comes from hollywood that works tremendously well for me and has worked very well for a lot of my clients, which is throwing up on the page. I actually, when I sit down to do the first draft of a talk now, I just try to get the worst first draft I can possibly get because I just know that's how it's going to be. And it seems to me that it's be, it, it is important for me to get all that stuff out before the good stuff really starts to come. So. If you're working on a first draft of something and you might notice other places in your life, remember perfection is the enemy of the good. Be willing to just blurt something out, get a first draft, and then let the magic happen in the editing. And it's a lot the same in life. Perfection is the enemy of the, of the good. Don't try and be perfect. Just go do something good.